Ordora's drop shipping options allow you to drop ship manually, to approve orders before sending, or to send orders automatically. This variety of options means that you can set up your drop shipping process to match your needs, whether your workflow needs to be completely hands off, what we like to call beach mode, or you would like to be involved in each step of the process. This tutorial is going to walk you through the workflow for each of these different options. So let's start with the most manual option and move to automatic. So in order to manually send an order to a supplier, and the, the reason for this could be maybe you don't typically drop ship, but you're out of a product you thought you had, um, or something's damaged, um, you can go ahead and select the order that needs to be drop shipped, go to the drop ship tab of the panel, and use the manually request drop shipments option. So from here, you can select whatever supplier you would like to be fulfilling this order. Select the packing list that you would like to like them to see, so what logo and everything. Set the shipping method if you need to modify that or have a certain request, or enter any additional instructions. Once you have all of that set, you can email the request. You can also preview this drop shipment request to take a look at what it's going to look like or you can just mark this as drop shipped without sending an email if you want to send it to them in some other format. So I'm going to go ahead and click email one request. What it's going to do is move this order from awaiting fulfillment over into my drop shipment requested filter so that I know that I've sent the request off to the supplier. Once they fulfill it, I can enter the tracking information here. And what that's going to do is mark the order as shipped and send that tracking information back to the supplier or back to the sales channel so that the customer knows that it's been shipped. Now let's say I have my product set up, set up to be drop shipped, but I don't have them set up to be automatically drop shipped. And this can be because I want to take a look at the order and make sure everything looks right. The products don't need any spe specific selections or anything like that or if I want to double check on the address of the customer because it doesn't look like it is completely accurate. Once I'm ready to actually send those orders over to the supplier, I can select a batch of orders. And when I go to the dropship panel, I'll see that we detected two orders with dropship ready products. This means two of these orders have products on them that are set to be drop shipped, but not drop shipped automatically. So I'll select this process dropship ready products option and click process two orders. This is going to move these orders over to the drop shipment requested filter, as well as email the orders over to the supplier. And then the last option for drop shipping is what we call automatic drop shipping. So if I've set up my products to be automatically drop shipped, what's going to happen is as soon as they import into the Ordoro account, the products on the order that are set to be automatically drop shipped will be moved to the drop shipment requested filter and the email will be sent to the supplier. Now, if this order was a mixed order of products that are handled in-house and products that are drop shipped, it would be split and just the drop ship options would be sent to the supplier or the drop shipped products so that they don't see all of the other products that they don't need to worry about. And then same goes for this process. Once we the suppliers provided tracking information, I can enter the tracking information here. And once this is, I hit save, it's going to write this tracking information back to the sales channel to notify my customer that the order has been shipped. Now, along with the emailing option, Ordoro also has the option to uh, set up a vendor portal. So what this would be is your supplier would have their own login to a separate account where they can process orders over there. Or we can set up some custom integrations to your supplier so that orders are sent directly into their system and we automatically pull back tracking information so that it is completely hands off for your process. If you have a question about those other options, please reach out to your account manager and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.